Hello, welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric, my co-host Brody. is in his co-host seat, getting ready to do another game for the 1978 Red Sox replay featuring Stratomatic Baseball. Uh, we're going to start a series with the Oakland A's as we continue our West Coast trip. The Red Sox have s swept the Angels in the last three games um, quite decisively uh, with Eckersley and Torres pitching complete games and uh, both getting their ninth wins. Unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end as Alan Ripley is on the mound now for the Red Sox. They just had that number three starter. They could have gone probably a little further and a better bullpen, obviously, and a better bench. But anyway, <laughs> uh, so the record for the Red Sox, they have tied the um, their record for the actual season so far. It's 36 and 17, and they'll start a I believe it's a three-game series. Could be wrong. It's either three or four-game series with the Oakland A's. So without further ado, let's get this game underway. And Alan Ripley is on the mound against Pete Roberg for the Oakland A's. Welcome to the stadium for today's ball game. <laughs> All right, so Pete Broberg is on the mound for the Oakland Athletics, and he'll be facing a lineup of the Red Sox, which is as follows. Rick Burleson, the shortstop, will bat first. Jerry Remy, who had the day off yesterday, uh, will play second base and bat second. The left fielder, Jim Rice, will bat third. Batting cleanup is the first baseman, Carl Yastrzemski. Batting fifth, Carlton Fisk, behind the plate. Batting sixth, the center fielder, Fred Lynn. The DH today, back in action, is George Scott. George the Boomer Scott. He'll bat seventh. Batting eighth is the right fielder, Dwight Evans. And on third baseman, Butch Hobson will bat ninth. That's your lineup for the Boston Red Sox. Pete Broberg comes into the game with a 1-4 record of 4.685 ERA. 59 innings pitched. 62 hits allowed. 24 walks and 32 strikeouts, and he has allowed four home runs. In the actual season, he was 10 and 12 with a 4.61 ERA. So Butch Hobson steps to the plate. He's hitting 276 with a home run, 18 runs batted in. So Broberg looks in for the sign from Jim Messing. Here's the windup in the pitch. It's going to be up the sixth column of Broberg, and that will be a fly ball to center. As Miguel Delone, the center fielder, is under it and makes the catch for out number one. So the weather is, is good. It's a good night here in Oakland County Coliseum, Oakland County Coliseum Stadium. <laughs> or Oakland County Stadium as they call it here. And definitely not a march of a hitter's ballpark as the singles is only one to five. Out of a pot on a D20 on a ballpark check and homers a little over 50% a 1 to 11 for both righties and lefties and doubles a little less than average at 97 and triples about the same at 95 so a little bit below average in, in extra base hits in general so alright so Jerry Remy steps to the plate now hitting 297 with a homer and 18 runs batted in so he should be well rested after a day off yesterday Gonna get a good pitch to hit, see if he, he can hit it. 
and he makes solid contact and laces a single into right field. So Remy is on with a one-out single. And we're going to try to steal a base here as, as Essien is neutral as a catcher, neutral arm. Even with Rice coming up, we'll uh, see if we can get him into scoring position. He's got a 1 to 15 save chance, so let's attempt to steal, see so if we can get the jump. And he's not going to get a good jump here, so we're not going to attempt that. So Bulwark looks Remy back. In for the sign from Messian. Here's the wind up and the pitch to Rice. Rice comes in the game hitting 329. Hit his 20th home run yesterday. 20 homers and 52 runs batted in. Has homered in the last two games. But he will not this time. As he hits a fly ball to center. And go on the glide under for out number two. Captain Kali Shremski up now. 275. Hit over six homers and 26 runs batted in. And he'll hit one off the sixth column of Broberg. Let's see what happens here. And he gets a hold on. This is going deep, deep, deep. But Thomason is under it and makes the catch. So he gave that one a ride. A lot of home runs on that sixth column for... Home run splits there for Essien. I mean for Broberg. And now the dreaded Ellen Ripley. Who in the actual game only lasted one inning and gave up four runs. Hopefully he can fare better now. Corners are playing in. Alan Ripley comes into the game with a 3-3 three three record, which is the only good thing about that is his three wins. With a 9 ERA, so he's definitely getting a lot of run support to get three wins with a 9 ERA. 38 innings pitched, 66 hits allowed, 14 walks, and 18 strikeouts. 9 ho homers allowed, so averaging 4. <laughs> about, let's see here. One home run every four innings, approximately. So, a couple home runs a game on average, so that's definitely not good. As Oakland hopefully will not take advantage of that. So Miguel, Miguel Delone will lead it off and place the center fielder. Thomas and the right fielder, who will become a Yankee later in the year, will play right field. Mario Guerrero, the shortstop, that's third. Mitchell Page, the left fielder, will bat cleanup. Dave Ververing, the first baseman, bats fifth. Jim Essien is behind the plate, batting sixth. The third baseman is Wayne Gross. DH is Gary Alexander. And Mike Edwards is second baseman. Mike Edwards is your second baseman batting ninth. So that's your Oakland lineup against Ripley. So Ripley looks in for the sign from Fisk. Corners are playing in against Stallone. And it's going to be off Stallone's one column. And that will be a line up to Yastrzemski for out number one. Yeah, so Thompson, he has actually become a Yankee. I think he played more games with the Yankees. That's why he's got the Yankee photo in this. So Thomason up now, hitting 221 with four homers and 16 runs batted in. Rick looks in for the sign from Fisk. Here's the wind up in the pitch. It's going to be off from Thomason's two columns. We definitely want to stay off Ripley's card as much as possible. Unless it's on a six column. And that will be a lead up, uh, one out walk. So Thomason is on, on a, on a walk. So I'll bring up Mario Guerrero. 263 hitter with two homers and 21 runs batted in. If he looks back, Thomas in at first. Here's the wind up in the pitch. And that's going to be a single up the middle. So Ripley in some early trouble. Runs on first and second for the dangerous Mitchell Page. 299 hitter with four homers and 18 runs batted in. This goes out to talk with Ripley. Back behind the plate. Looks in for the sign. Here's the wind up in the pitch. Oh, Mitchell's going to get a good pitch here. 
And he will tag this one. Deep Lin can just watch this one go goodbye. And just like that. Oakland is up 3 nothing. This could be a short day for Ripley. As his ERA goes over 9 now to 9.63. Dave Revering up now. Oakland now with a 3 nothing lead. Here's the wind up in the pitch. Should be off Revering's one call. And he will line out to Remy. Actually, it's popped out. It says a line out on the card, but he's popped out. So it's two down now for Jim Essie and the catcher. 237 hitter with three homers and 14 runs batted in. <laughs> this is going to be off of Ripley's four call. And he'll get a hold of one here. And Rice can just watch this one go goodbye. So just like that, Oakland is up five to nothing. And Ripley, oh, actually make that four nothing, sorry. So just like in the actual game, he surrendered four runs. <laughs> See if he can get out of this inning, but it's not looking good as it looks like Wayne Gross is going to get a good pitch to hit here. And he will go deep, and now it's five to nothing. <laughs> so hope, hoping Ripley can get out of the first inning. Gary Alexander up now. Open now with a five nothing lead. Oh lord! And he's gonna get it up his one column here, and he will strike him out. After one full, it's Oakland five and Boston nothing. So Ripley, believe it or not, has done it again. <laughs> and a horrible start. Let me look at his but I'm sure it's over 10 now. So the Red Sox had their work cut out for them in a deep hole early on. It'll be Fisk, Lynn, and Scott against Broberg, who has himself a nice 5 nothing lead. And Fisk is going to be Fisk's two column. And that would be a ground ball to third. Gross is up with it over Reverend for out number one. So that'll bring up Fred Lynn. Hitting 289 with 14 homers and 40 run runs bad in it. And he's got a Goldberg six column. And that will be a ground ball to Reverend. He'll flip it to Broberg for out number two. That'll bring up the boomer George Scott. He hasn't played in a while. Hitting 279 with three homers and 11 runs batted in. In fact, I think he was on the DL for a little bit. I see he was not available on the roster. So here's the windup in the pitch. Hopefully, hopefully that, hoping for that five column on, I mean the five uh, roll on the one column. And it's not, it's a ground ball to short. And the Red Sox go in order. So after one and a half, Oakland five and Boston Nada. All right, top of the second. Ripley back out there facing the only batter he did not face in the Oakland lineup, Mike Edwards. He's hitting 266 with a homer and seven runs batted in. Corners are playing in. Here's a windup in the pitch. <laughs> and he will hit one over the little corner. Rice comes up with it, but not before. Edwards is, on, Edwards is on with a leadoff double. And Zimmer has seen enough. He's jogging out to the mound. As well as Zimmer can jog. And that'll be it for Ripley. He's seen enough. I, see, I, I saw enough when they announced his name for the game. <laughs> right, Mr. Brody? No, Mr. Brody is not pleased at all either. Anytime we see Ripley in the... On, in the on the mound, we cringe. So it's going to be Jim Wright going to bring in. He did actually come in in the other game, in the actual game. So Jim Wright will come in to relieve Ripley. He'll be responsible for Edwards at second. So Ripley, I mean, uh, Jim Wright comes in with a 4 and 2 record, 4.74 ERA, 38 innings pitch, 53 hits allowed. 10 walks and 17 strikeouts. So 
Miguel to line up now. He's 0 for 1. It's gonna, ooh, <laughs> it just gets better. as the ground ball to Hobson with a range check. Be at least a single and an E error, so why not? So the run will come home. It's going to be. Just grabs it and throws it wild, so it's single E5. So Edwards will score from second, so I believe that's going to be an unearned run. As Hobson was able to grab it, so the runner would have stopped at third. They're going to credit it with an E5 and a single. So Oakland adds the lead now 6 0. We should have taken out Hobson too. <laughs> Thompson up now. He walked his first time up. And he would have ground ball to Hobson. Looks the runner back. And it throws over Yastrzemski for out number one. So that'll bring up Mario Guerrero. He is one for one today. He a single in the first. And that will be a strikeout. Definitely would have been a lot worse on Ripley's card. So two down now. For Mitchell Page, who hit a three-run home run to get Oakland on the board. Off of Ripley. So the wind up in the pitch. It's going to be off the five column of right. To be a fly ball to center. He's out in front of it a bit. And... Wynn charges and dives for it and makes a nice catch. So Lynn saved at least a run there. But Oakland adds one and after two full, it's Oakland six and Boston nothing. The Red Sox definitely have their work cut out for them. But at least Wright came in and has temporarily stopped the bleeding. So that'll bring up Dwight Evans, 269 here with eight homers and 23 runs batted in. And Evans will get a good pitch to hit here. Unfortunately, he'll ground it out to Gross. So one down now for Butch Hobson, the third baseman. 288 with seven homers and 24 runs batted. Let's see if he can make up for his error. He allowed to run the score. And he cannot as he hits to his counterpart, Gross, who isn't that much better of a fielder, but a slightly better fielder than Hobson. Not much, really. <laughs> As pops, I think he's a 53 or 57, and he's a 41, so not much better in the same range. So that'll bring up, as we as we saw yesterday, Bob Bailey. I'd even consider putting in Bob Bailey rather than Hobson. That's how bad Hobson is. <laughs> anyway, Rick Burleson up now. Flight out his first time up, so two outs and bases empty. He'll be off the six column with Roberg. And that's going to find the gap. The loan cuts it off. Well, actually, isn't able to cut it off as it goes to the wall. Off the fence. And it's going to be a two out double for Burleson. So Jerry Remy's up now. He singled his first time up. Red Sox need a little two out rally here. All right, so he continues as Remy draws the walk. So I'm to bring up Jim Rice, who's been hot lately. As we said earlier, he's hit two home run in each of his last two games. Hopefully he can continue that here. And he will not, as it's going to be up Roberg's four call. But he will draw the walk to load the bases. So I'm to bring up the captain, Kali Yastrzemski. Flied out his first time up, so bases loaded for the captain. Boberg looks in for the sign from Essie. Here's the lineup in the pitch. And he'll get a good pitch to hit here. And Yastrzemski will single. And we are going to send Remy from second. He's 1 to 19, definitely 95%. And we will hold the trailing runners. And two runs will come in on a two-run single by Yastrzemski. So the Red Sox are on the board, cutting into that lead. Now 6-2. to two. So some two-out 
rally for the Red Sox. He has them on the board. So to bring up Fist now, he's grounded out his first time up. And he will hit a liner to Page. He's under it and makes the catch. The Red Sox tap into the lead. It's now a 6-2 lead for Oakland. So right back on the hill. He'll face Reverend Essien and Gross. Reverend filed out his first time off. And he will strike out looking. Froze Reverend on that one. Can get the bat off his shoulder. So second K for now for Wright. He's already looking much better than Ripley. Of course, it doesn't take much. <laughs> so that'll bring up Essien. Get a solo home run his first time up. His fourth of the year. And it's time to hit a fly ball to Rice and left. This one should stay in the ballpark though. Now Rice got a great jump on that one. Actually it carried on him a little bit, but he makes the catch. Let's check out some scores from around the league. The White Sox are edging Cleveland, 1-0. Baltimore ahead of California, 2-1. Yankees ahead of the Mariners, 1-0. And here in Oakland, it's Oakland leading 6-2. So Wayne Gross up now, too. He, he hit a solo home run. Back-to-back so -back solo homers for the Oakland. As well as a three-run homer by Mitchell Page. And that's how Oakland got their six runs. Actually, they get another run too. The five runs, then they get the, another run in the six on error by Hobson. And here we go. And strike three called to end the inning. So head to the top of the fourth. The Red Sox down by four. Fred Lynn will lead it off. He grounded out his first time up. The ground ball to Guerrero, who is a four range, so a one to six will be a hit. And hopefully it's going to be a single. Just a single, except possibly a you know, spy dive of Guerrero. Unable to get to it, so the Red Sox have the leadoff runner on. For George Scott, who grounded out his first time up. Will be a fly ball to left. Camped under his page for out number one. So it brings up Dwight Evans, who grounded out his first time up. And he'll hit a fly ball to center. And Oakland's got a not very good defensively. He's got a bunch of guys with four ranges. And three is their best. So, oh, Essien actually is two behind the plate. And Boberg on the mound, but. Not a very good defensive team at all. I hope the Red Sox can take advantage of that. So 1 to 11 will be a hit. And it's at 11, so it's going to be at least a single here. We'll see what happens with Lynn. It falls in there. So Lynn will take third, and he was running all the way. He saw that one, it's going to fall in. So runners at the corners with the one down for Hobson who grounded out his first time up. Chance for the Red Sox to get real close here. It's going to be a range check on Edwards who is three. He's the best infielder of the, of the four. One to six will be a hit. And it will be another single. Excellent, excellent. So another single, Lynn will come in the score. See what Evans does. Evans will take third, so it's now a 6-3 ball game. As the Red Sox have taken advantage of Oakland's poor defense. So runners at the corners for Burleson, who's one for two with a double. And he'll draw a walk to load the bases. So that will load the bases for Remy, who's singled and walked. No place to put him. 
And that will be a line out to short. Guerrero will make the catch. Throw out number two. So Jim Rice with a chance here now. Flied out in the first and walked in the third. So we got this three call. And that will be a line out to Gross. Uh, he's definitely saved at least a run there. So the Red Sox strand three, but they do push one across, and it's they have the lead now. So it's six to three now, Oakland, as we head to the bottom of the fourth. So right is definitely slowed things down, and giving the Red Sox a chance to get back in this game. The Red Sox so far are starting to, starting to do that. So Gary Alexander, the DH up now, struck out his first time up. We'll ground out to Remy. It's two range. So much better second baseman than a little bit better than Oakland second baseman. And he will make the play for out number one. So that'll bring up Edwards, who doubled his first time up. He around the score on the Hobson air. And this time he'll strike out. This is one in the dirt. Two down now for Delone. He is one for two, reached on a single. And lined out in the first, not perfectly. And he'll reach again on a single past Yashemsky. And Remy too. So two out base runner for Oakland. Brings up Thomas. Thomason, who is 0 for 1 for the walk. And see if Delone is gonna oh, he's gonna try to steal here. And 1 to 14. Yeah, we're gonna try to throw him out. And Fisk guns him down. Not even close there. So Delone is gunned out by Fisk for out number three. Score remains 6-3 Oakland. Stremski had a two-run single to get the Red Sox on the board in the third. They flew out in the first. It's a range play for Essien. And it's going to be a pop foul, it looks like. Throws away the mask at the screen, and the wind blows it back to him, and Yastrzemski is out. So one down, and the Red Sox fifth brings up Fisk. He's 0 for two. He's got to get a good one to hit here, though. And he'll lace a single into left field. Page gets it back in quickly. Holding to a single, so a one out single for Fisk brings up Fred Lynn. One for two. And he will fly out to his counterpart in center. Dolan makes the catch. Hey, Miss Mags. Mags has come to check on things here. Is that Miss Mags there checking on things, Mr. Brody? Huh? she tell you something there? Oh, here she comes. Seeing if you need anything. What a good girl. So, all right, so the boomer George got up now with two down and Fisk on first. Get one out to center. And Delone had him play perfectly. And Scott is retired for out number three. So the Red Sox cannot do anything in the fifth. And halfway through, Oakland leads by three. Thompson will lead off. He's all for one with a run scored. And he will draw a leadoff walk. Second walk of the day. Brings up Guerrero. He's one for two with... Thomason, see if he can get a jump here. And he cannot. His right steps off. And see if we can catch this one. He won't be able to get it. And Thomason stops at third. Nobody out. So runners on the second and third now with nobody out. So Oakland's in business here from Page, who already hit a three run home run. One for two on the day. The Red Sox are going to play the infield in. And 
and he will pop out to Remy in short, short left field, right field. So one down, not deep enough for Thompson to score. Let's check out the scores again. The White Sox edge in Cleveland one nothing. Baltimore now on top of California three to one. Yankees still lead Seattle one nothing. Figueroa battling house. All right, so infield still playing in now with one down. But Dave Reverend, the first baseman. And he'll hit a fly ball to center. Wins on his horse, he gets it. Fine running catch. And Thomas in tags and scores. So RBI well, sack fly for Essien. I mean for uh, Reverend. We'll put Oakland on top seven to three now. So I'll bring up Jim Essien. He's one for two with a solo home run. And he'll line out to Remy to end the inning. But Oakland scores one in the sack fly. And lead by four going into the sixth. Evans will lead it off. He's one for two with a single. And he will line out to Gross at third. For out number one. Put chops and had himself an RBI single in the fourth. And he will hit one all the way to the wall for a one out double. So the rooster up now. He's one for three with a one for two with a double. Also locked. And he's going to hit one to Guerrero at short, over to Reverend. Hobson stays put at second, so to bring up Jerry Remy. One for two with a single. And he will pop out to Reverend for out number three. So the Red Sox do not score in the sixth and still trail by four. Wright's back up there for his fifth inning of work. He'll face Gross, who's one for two with a homer. And he'll pop this one up to Yastrzemski, who calls, a, calls Remy off, and makes the catch for out number one. That'll bring up Gary Alexander, who's 0 for 2 in the day. An off-speed pitch, and it's in there for strike three. Two down now. Wright's fifth K of the day. So Edwards up now. He's one for two of the double. And he's going to bunt. And Shepsi will grab it. And race over to first. And he gets him. That'll end the inning. Top of the seventh now. It'll be Rice and Shepsi in this card of the order. Red Sox still up with some work to do here. Boberg up to 101 pitches. And Rice will strike out swing for out number one. Brings up Yastrzemski. One for three with a two-run single back in the fifth third. And he'll hit a pop fly to short. Ferrero's under it and makes the catch for out number two. Carlin Fisk up now. He is one for three with a single. And he strikes out. So the Red Sox go in order in the seventh. Here's seventh inning stretch. Miss Mags is very proud of her question she has here. She just came in to bring the question. Good timing, Miss Mags. Consulting on Mr. Brody there. So name the catcher who holds the most career games at that position. I think, ironically, it might be the guy who we see up to bat now, Carlton Fisk. Could be wrong, but I, I think it might be. I'm going to go with Carlton Pudge Fisk, the original Pudge. Let's see who the answer is. Lock in your answers now. And it was Carlton Fisk. <laughs> so that was timing right there. It's Fisk. Fisk's photo is up there at the end of this 
top of the seventh, making the last out. And the trivia question was on him. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. So Carlton Fisk played 2,225 games behind the plate. It's 1969 and 93, and broke Bob Boone's old record of 2,223 games. So he played just two more games than Bob Boone. Thank you for that interesting trivia question, Miss Mags. Good timing there. All right, so home half of the seventh here. The Oakland leading by four. And let's see. Right, I think we're gonna pull right now as he's pitched 66 pitches. pitches. And we're gonna bring in, let's see. If we may bring in Dick Drago. Came in in the actual game. Let's see what his usage is. Right, so. Let's see who do we have coming up here. We have a switch hitter, a lefty, and a righty. And then a lefty of Page. I think we might bring in Bergmeier. No, I don't think. Very good because he'll bat right against the lone wolf. So let's go with Campbell. I think Campbell might be our best bet. Campbell is a righty that's good against the left. Yeah, we'll bring in Campbell. Campbell's like the best choice here. Bill Campbell comes in. So Bill Soup Campbell comes in with a 2 1 record, a couple of saves, 220 ERA. 16 innings pitch, 16 hits allowed, 6 walks and 9 strikeouts, and a surrender to home run. So the long will bat from the left side against Campbell. The long's 2 for 3 on the day. And here's the windup in the pitch by Sue. And he will strike him out swinging. Nice pitch. The bottom dropped out of that one. Check out your scores there. From around the American League. That'll bring up Thompson. He's 0 for 1 with a couple of walks. Ooh, and he'll get a good pitch to hit here, though, off Campbell. And it drops. It actually is upstairs a little bit as he lays off. So it'll be Thompson is on with his third walk of the day. Gonna bring up Guerrero is two for three. And they're gonna try a hit and run here. And Remy will get it, scoop it up the first. Gets him on a close play. Thompson moving the scoring position. So Mitchell Page up now one for three with, with a three run home run back in the first to get the A's off and running. And he will strike out. Swung on and missed. Campbell gets out of the mini jam there. We'll head to the eighth. The Red Sox down, still down by four. Broberg's still back out there, up to 112 pitches now. And Lynn will get a good pitch to hit here. And he'll lace a single up the middle, so the Red Sox start the inning off well with a single by Lynn. Brings up the Boomer Scott here. And Lynn hit, why not? And he'll lace a single. I think we're gonna bring in a pinch runner for Scott here. And yeah, we need some speed there. Boomer Scott gets on. Do we have speed? Duffy's got the bet for Carbo, maybe. No, Carbo doesn't have good speed. 1 to 11 running. Duffy's 1 to 14. I think it's Danny Duffy. Grohim is 1 to 12. Yeah, Duffy not Bailey, Kendall, or Montgomery. <laughs> so Duffy. Duffy is going to come in to pitch run for George Scott. There we go. Alright, so the first two runners on for the Red Sox here in the eighth. Dwight Evans up now. He's 1 for 3 with a single. And he will strike out swinging. Evan goes down. 
Okay, we're bringing Butch Hobson. He's got a couple hits on the day. Single in the fourth. Drove in a run. And a double in the sixth. See if they're going to leave Broberg in the face Hobson. And they do. And he's going to get a hold on here. His third hit of the day. It's going to be a double. Lynn will come around the score. Oh, boy. I think we're going to bring... I think we're going to chance it. I'm going to send Duffy in. Yeah, 75% chance. Let's send him. And we're going to hold him. Oh, and Duffy's going to be out and going home. Ugh. 75% chance. Ugh. Oh, well. So I'm going to bring up Burleson now. As Duffy is gunned out at home. And that's going to be it for Broberg. So I'm going to bring in Dave Heverlow. Heverlow comes into the game with a 3-1 record. 4.14 ERA. 41 innings pitched, 38 hits allowed, 13 walks, 21 strikeouts, but has surrendered 8 home runs. So he's susceptible to the long ball. So it'll be Rick Burleson up. 2 down and Hobson at 2nd. 1 for 3 with a double. And he will line up to Guerrero. And that'll end the inning. So the Red Sox had a promise inning. Only can score a 1 there. So we'll head to the bottom of the 8th. Now open with a three-run lead. So Reverend will lead it off. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. I mean 0 for 2 with an RBI. And he'll ground out Diostremski for out number one. He's gonna bring up Jim Essien, 1 for 3 with a solo home run. And he will hit a single up the middle. So one out single. Second hit of the day. Brings up Wayne Gross. He's one for three. Also in a solo home run. And he'll strike out swinging. For out number two. Alexander up now. 0 for three. And he'll ground out to Burleson. Throws over to Fischemski for out number three. The Red Sox down by three, heading into the ninth. It'll be Remy, Rice, and Yastrzemski. Remy is one for three with a run scored. And he's going to pop one up. Guerrero's under it, makes the catch for out number one. So it brings up Jim Rice. He's 0 for three with a lock. He'll draw his second walk of the day. So tying run will be on deck now. Yastrzemski up now, one for four. And he'll strike out swing for out number two. So the Red Sox down to their last out. Colin Fisk. He hit two home runs in the last game, if I remember right. I think he's hit three home runs in the last two days. He could definitely use a home run here. But that need at least be either a base hit or a walk or something. Keep the game going. So Hebrew looks in for the sign for Messian. Here's the windup in the pitch. And he's gonna fly out the center to end the game. The Red Sox try to come back, but just don't have enough. As they were put in a deep hole by Ripley. Surrendering five runs in the first inning. Never a good thing. Let's get the box score here. Check things out. Mr. Brody. Ripley just put him in a big hole, huh? Mr. Brody was not very happy with that either. What do you think we should do with Ripley? Should we fire him? Get him out of there? Pull him out? I think so. First base runner, get him out of there, right? <laughs> anyway, let's check the box score out here. So Ripley takes the loss. One inning pitched, five, one plus actually. Five hits allowed, six runs, five of them earned. 
One walk, one strikeout. So a typical, typical Alan Ripley line right there. Horrible. Jim Wright came in and pitched five innings. A three-hit ball, starting only one run. Striking out five. So good performance by Wright there. Campbell also did well. Two innings pitched, one hit allowed. So the Red Sox bullpen kept it, kept them in the game, but unfortunately just didn't have enough. So let's see here. Uh, Pete Broberg gets the win. He's now two and four, seven and two thirds, eleven hits allowed, four runs, all of them earned, three walks and three strikeouts. Pete Below gets his fourth save of the season. Hitting stars uh, for the Athletics, Miguel Delone was 2 for 4. Thomason was 0 for 1 with 3 walks and a couple runs scored. Guerrero at short was 2 for 4 with a 2 runs scored. Mitchell Page 1 for 4 with a 3 run home run. Essie in 2 for 4 with a run scored in an RBI. Gross 1 for 4 with a run scored in an RBI. And it was yeah, Reverend, not Reverend, but uh, Essien and Gross both hit solo home runs. So, along with Mitchell Page hit his fifth, Essien hit his fourth, and Gross hit his sixth. So, not a big home run hitting team, but off Ripley, it's like batting practice. <laughs> so, for the Red Sox, Stremski is one for five with a two run single, Lynn was two for four with a couple of runs scored. And Hobson in the nine hole was three for four with a couple of RBIs. And that was it for the Red Sox. As they fall to Oakland, they would fall in the actual game, which is no surprise with Ripley pitching. By a score of nine to seven, as this game was seven to four. So that's going to be it for Oakland. Let's check out tomorrow's starting pitchers. Let's see what happens in the standings here. So let's see. So Milwaukee, I think, we'll, I think they lost two. Yeah, Milwaukee lost one today, so they stayed three games ahead of them. The Yankees won, so they're now six and a half behind. Kansas City's got a four and a half game lead over Texas and a five game lead over the California. So tomorrow it'll be Bill the Spaceman Lee, so who knows what's going to happen with Bill Lee. Could be a good outing, could be a crappy outing, we'll see. <laughs> uh, Steve Rinko, who will later become a Red Sox, and also pitch for, I believe, Montreal also, um, will be on the mound for Oakland. And George Scott, again, is in the lineup. So that's good to see. So, all right. So thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. My co-host is co-host Mr. Brody and hostess Miss Mags with great trivia question. So thank you for joining me. And we will see you in the next Red Sox video. Do you want to do another video, Mr. Brody? I think we might. All right. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye.